This is Professor Pete Alexander with the Winning at Business and Life podcast, where business leaders share their insights. It is six questions in seven minutes because successful business leaders are busy and rarely have more time to spare. So let's get to it. Question number one, in a few sentences, tell me who you are and what you do. Hey guys, my name is Bilal Batraoui. I'm running a community on Bravado called Death to Fluff for salespeople. Uh, trying to build a, a tribe and community of like-minded individuals that want to see progression in sales from the broken model we see today that's leaving a lot of sellers behind. Bilal, it's great to have you on the show. Question number two, what's the best thing about working in your industry? Sales is the highest paying job in the world when, when it's right. And, and there's no better feeling than winning. I mean, it's tremendous. And, and when winning comes with helping others, I mean, that's, that's the best combination. So when, when the lock, all the, com the combination of the lock falls together, it's, it's an incredible thing to, to happen. Mm, I like that metaphor of the combination lock. Question number three, I hear from other business leaders that staying in a good work-life balance for them and their team members is a challenge. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I think, I think, that's, a, I think that's a false paradigm because work is part of life. Life's not part of work. So the, the two are not in balance because they're not equal to each other. You, you, don't, you don't have any work to do if you don't have a life, right? If you're dead, there's no work to be done. So mm -hmm. life comes first. Um, and, and it's as simple as that. And when you think about it that way, it's a lot easier to think about the responsibilities of the two because if something happens in your personal life, work stops and, and it gets taken care of. Um, so you got to take care of your personal affairs before you can have any professional ones to begin with. Mm -hmm. It sounds like you have your priorities in order. <laughs> I try. <laughs> <laughs> Question number four, what other successful business leaders like yourself should be on my podcast? So a name comes to mind. He's an Atlanta uh, guy like me. His name is Chris Fago. Uh, he works at Palo Alto Networks right now, but tremendous seller, um, has won several industry awards himself. And anytime I meet with him, I, I just feel like a fulfilled conversation occurs. You know, he just, mm -hmm. he speaks my language and understands my mindset and he's going through the same challenges and on the front lines, which I think is really, really important. Uh, so he, he's definitely one I highly recommend. Oh, that's great. I'll reach out to him. Thank you. Question number five, what insight or advice would you give to other business leaders? I think the, the biggest thing is that you got to take your people's growth as seriously as you do your business. Um, you know, to expect a company to grow 100 or 200 percent year over year, but apply the same skill set your, you know, people had last year to the new 200 percent growth company makes no sense at all. They have to level up just as equally as your business. And, and anybody that, that loses sight of that loses, loses sustainable growth. Mm, that's very insightful. Thank you. And question number six, tell me about your first job. I was, uh, I was an SDR for a company called Trinet, and it was pretty amazing. I was very, very fortunate that I had a, an incredible manager at the time who eventually became the executive director of Insight Sales. Mm -hmm. And he taught me pretty much, let's say, the majority of what I know today in sales comes from, from his mentorship. So mm -hmm. I was very, very fortunate in that. Now, the, the SDR role was a very challenging one, so I'm <laughs> glad I went through the trial by fire, as many of us do, and, and came out okay. But uh, that, that was my first role, and I, I got to see the value of having a good manager in, in one's career. Yeah, a good manager makes all the difference, doesn't it? Huge, huge difference. Huge difference, it does. Bilal, thank you for being on the show. How can people find you? So you can find me at Bravado. Uh, I have a community there called Death to Fluff. I recommend anybody who's in sales to join. This is really a place that um, it's something that I wanted to build because I, I was looking for it and I couldn't find it. I wanted a place where I can connect with fellow sellers and just talk privately one-on-one -on -one about the real issues that we're facing, whether that's people gaming our commission, whether that's dealing with uh, an executive team that micromanages you, whatever it might be. We've all had these experiences in the past. It's really important to know that A, you're not crazy for thinking some of these things are wrong, and B, you're not alone. Uh, and this is the place to find that. That's awesome. This is Professor Pete Alexander with the Winning at Business and Life podcast. For more insights and ideas, please go to LinkedIn, YouTube, or Facebook and search for the Winning at Business and Life podcast. Thanks for listening.